Your name, Kaum here are used in the sense of what? Men. Men. That is the actual meaning. But later on, of course, nowadays when it's a Kaum, it means both men and women. But originally it meant men. In the Quran, I think in book 3 you have done, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu la yashkhar qawmun min qawmin. O oh, those who believe, let not men mock at other men. La yashkhar qawmun min qawmin. Asa an yakunu khayran minhum, lest they should be better than, that is, lest they, those whom you laugh at be better than those who laugh. Wala nisa'um min nisa'in. No women should mock at women, other women. So here the word qawmun is used in contradiction with nisa. So men, qawm originally meant men, please note this. Uh, of course here in the ayah, that's not the meaning. The ayah, the qawmi yatafakkaroon, of course it meant community, group of people including both men and women. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنْ أَزْوَاجًا is what is the way is mansoob مَفْعُولٌ بِهِ خَلَقَ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا لام what is it لام لام التعليل and what is omitted after that أَنْ لِأَنْ تَسْكُنُوا لِأَنْ تَسْكُنُوا لام by itself does not render the, na, the verb mansoor it is an which does this work لِتَسْكُنُوا and it is majzoom the noon has been omitted because of it is majzoom لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا now you are here note إِلَيْهَا إِلَيْهَا Jama Taksir. Jama Taksir has been taken into account. Azwaj. You follow me? Azwaj. So Azwaj is Jama Taksir. That is why Ha is used. I say Taskunu. Here is plural. But Ilaiha. Ilaiha is because of Jama Taksir. Because of Jama Taksir. Litaskunu Ilaiha. So that you may find rest in them. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً As we have learned, جَمْ تَكْسِي Any plural can be feminine. تِلْكَ الرُّسُلُ تِلْكَ الرُّسُلُ in the Quran. So any plural can be feminine singular. But usage dictates that we use this only with regard to غير آقل in ordinary language with غير آقل but in poetry, in Quran in, in literary writing you can use feminine you see but in India and Pakistan some students come they say هذه طلاب you should not use this kind of uh, that's not the usage هذه uh, طلاب grammatically it is correct but uh, it's not the usage you say هؤلاء طلاب you follow me but in literary writing you can do that. As it's here, as I told you, tilka rusulu. Tilka ar rusulu. Allah did not say, ulaika rusulu. He said, tilka ar rusulu. Waja'ala baynakum mawaddatan wa rahma. And mawaddatan is maf'ul of ja'ala. And ja'ala here takes only one object. It, is, it means khalaqa. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لَآيَاتٍ is اسمه إِنَّ اللام لام مع المزاهلقة لقوم يتفكرون here there is another ayah in page 94 it's a beautiful ayah we can read this وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ that is اللام المزاهلقة وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْعَنْكَبُوتُ إِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ وَهَنَ يَهِنُ أَوْهَن اسم التفضيل أَوْهَن the frailest the weakest the 
frailest or the weakest. In Auhan al Buyut, the weakest of the houses is whose house? The spider's house. In Nabai in Auhan al Buyuti, the weakest of the houses, Labaitul Ankabud, Lam here la Allah Muzalaka is the house of the spider. What, what is the plural of Ankabut? Anakim. If you have mo- more letters than four, uh, the extra letters are omitted. Barna majun, bara majun, bara majun. You know. have seen that. Barna majun program, bara majun. <clears throat> in Auhan al Buyuti la Baitul an Kabut. Next ayah. Women ayatihi. Khalkus Samawati wal Ardi. Wachtilafu al Sinatikum wa al Wanikum. Inna fi dalika la ayatil. Lil Alimin Lil Alimin Umin Ayatihi Khalkus Samawad Hiya Mazdar Ardani Mazdar Nat Mazdar Muawal Umin Ayatihi Khalkus Samawad The creations of the heavens and the earth Umin Ayatihi One of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth Wakhtilafu Al Sinatikum Wa Al Wanikum Ikhtalafa yakhtalifu, ikhtilaf, mazdar, and the difference, diversity of your languages, al-sinatikum wa al-wanikum, and your kalahiu, wa al-wanikum, launum al-wan. Ikhtilafu al-sinatikum, lisanun al-sinat, it has two plural, al-sinatun wa al-sunun. Al Sinatun wa Al Sunun Al Sinatun and Al Sunun Al Sunun In the Quran the word Lisan Lisan also, the first meaning is the tongue. In English, also you say mother tongue. Uh, is used also for, for for the means of communication, words, language. Language is also in, in Latin. It means tongue, lingua. Lingua is tongue. Yes. Many languages. The this member of the body is used for language also because that is the instrument of speech. Mm. Uh, but nowadays, as you know, not nowadays, outside the Quran, even in ancient, ancient days, Lughatun was used for language, Lughatun. In the Quran, the Quran used only Al-Lisanun, as here, Wakhtilafi Al-Sinatikum. Even Nowadays, this word, in a limited sense, it is used for language. We say, Madrasatul Al-Sun, language school, Madrasatul Al-Sun. In that sense, it is used, but not very frequently, in a limited sense. Uh, you see, in page 95, there is another ayah, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ We have not sent any prophet. And this min, what is, what is it called? Huh? No, no. مِنْ الزَّائِدَ هَلْ مِنْ هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيد We have seen. هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيد مَا رَأَيْتُ مِنْ أَحَدٍ مَا رَأَيْتُ مِنْ أَحَدٍ مَا أَكَلْتُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ This is مَا الزَّائِدَ وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ we have not sent any prophet illa bilisani qawmi except speaking the language of his folk, of his uh, people. 